Mr. Akhil Saxena, Vice President of uh, Customer Fulfillment and Customer Service. Ms. Uh, Sarah Rhodes, Vice President, Amazon Global Air. Mr. Chetan Krishnaswamy, the Vice President of Public Policy. Mr. Rahul Srinivasan, Director, Amazon Global Air Planning and Cargo. Mr. Abhinav Singh, Director, Fulfillment Centers and Supply Chain. Mr. SGK Kishore, the CEO of uh, Hyderabad International Airport. Mr. Praveen PA, who is the Director of Aerospace, Government of Telangana. To all my friends from the media and all the invited guests uh, from Amazon family, let me begin by extending my heartiest congratulations to Amazon India and the cargo operator, Quickjet Cargo Airlines Private Limited, for the launch of Amazon Air from India, from India and from Hyderabad. In fact, I was just about, um, just before we actually got onto the stage, I was narrating a fascinating story to my friends from Amazon. You know, back in 2014, of course, Amazon did have a presence in Hyderabad, but not as big a presence as the one we have today. 2014, in fact, uh, one day, I was traveling along with my principal secretary from Delhi to Hyderabad, and I had ran into Amazon India's the then head, Am Amit Agarwal. Is he still with uh, Amazon? Or? He is still, Amit is still there. So I had um, run into him on, an, on a flight from Delhi to Hyderabad. He was coming here for some meeting. I was coming back uh, home after a few meetings in Delhi. So in the general chit chat that ensued, I asked him how the going was, how e-commerce is being received in India, etc. Because you know, back in my 99, 2000, I did a master's in marketing and e-commerce. So I was, a, uh, I was one of those guys who was very, very curious, uh, curious about e-commerce all along. So he said, uh, there are some teething pains. India needs to understand a few more things, etc. Of course, he was based in Bangalore then. Um, so I invited him over. I said, you know, why don't you come with your entire team to Hyderabad? We can bring our tax guys. We can bring our finance department. We can bring our technology guys. All of us together, sitting across the table, can understand how we can help you. So he did come the next week, the following week. And we had a fantastic meeting. And uh, since then, I would say the love story of Amazon with Hyderabad actually went from strength to strength. Today, I'm standing here very proud. And I can tell you right in front of all of you friends from the media, that Hyderabad is home to Amazon's world's largest campus. In fact, uh, I, I keep saying this everywhere I go, that uh, Amazon's world's largest campus is not in Seattle, but it is in Hyderabad, which is a matter of great pride for us. Not only that, Amazon Web Services, one of the largest investments in the world, a $4.4 .4 billion investment, is also in Hyderabad, and in fact, it's growing almost 36,300 crores of rupees in the cloud business of Amazon, which of course is one of the most important uh, you know, business verticals for Amazon is also in Hyderabad. I cross-checked, I fact-checked with Abhinav and Akhil as well, that uh, Amazon's largest fulfillment footprint in Asia is also in Hyderabad. And today, with the launch of Amazon Air, and the first time uh, you know, Amazon Air is being launched outside of North America and outside of Europe, I'm delighted that India and particularly Hyderabad gets to host it. So I think this love story is just growing from strength to strength, and I, I do hope and believe that this is just the beginning and there's much more to follow. Of course, um, you know, it would be my fiduciary responsibility to also ensure that I tell you a bit more about my state and my city, Hyderabad. Telangana is the youngest and fastest growing state in India. The state has registered a USD of $145 billion in financial year 2021-22. The state has doubled its per capita income since 2014, from 1,24,000 Indian rupees to 2,78,000 rupees. Hyderabad continues to rank, you know, top several global and national rankings in the past few years, some among them. It has been ranked, in Telangana has been ranked among the top three states, in the ease of doing business among all Indian states by World Bank and Government of India, a joint ranking given by both of them. Hyderabad has been ranked as the world's most dynamic city by JLL. Hyderabad also has been ranked the most livable city among all Indian cities by Mercer, and five times in a row from 2015 until 2020. Hyderabad also has backed the world's Green City Award by AIPH in 2022, um, you know, which is a matter of great pride for all of us. 
Telangana has been ranked second in the India's Innovation Index. We also won the best state award for aerospace from Ministry of Civil Aviation three times in a row now. We are also ranked the most cost-effective aerospace city in the world by FTFDA Global Rankings. The state continues to be a shining beacon in terms of attracting investments. In the last eight years, we've been able to attract more than $47 billion in investments. And also, and in fact, this excludes the $2.6 billion that was committed at the World Economic Forum in Davos uh, in the last week. Telangana is today the fastest growing IT hub. It is also the largest pharmaceutical hub in India and one of the most important vaccine hubs in the world. And it continues to grow in the aviation and aerospace industry as well. Before we got onto the stage, we had an informal chat with uh, the GMR airport authorities here, Kishore Garu. He was mentioning that uh, the air traffic is also growing through tremendously. And I'm going out on a limb here, and I'm actually going to bet that we will hit the 40 million number in the next five years, to the, by 2028, I hope. Telangana's growth and success, of course, are intricately linked to the expansion of the logistics sector, including its air cargo infrastructure. Aviation sector, like I said, you know, because of all the progressive measures that have been introduced by government of Telangana have contributed to the growth of this story. We have slashed the ATF from 16% to 1% and also have ensured that infrastructure in Hyderabad continues to maintain pace with the growing city. Air, air cargo traffic in Hyderabad also witnessed a 35% growth in volumes during 2021. Hyderabad Airport is one of the finest airports in the world and it continues to win laurels and awards you know every year consistently telangana continues to grow in manufacturing sector in agriculture sector in the primary sector and also services sector and i'm sure you know with this launch of amazon air from hyderabad there would be enough and more in fact the two planes that you're launching akhil will not be enough i'm sure you'll need to add a few more to the fleet it is, of course, a landmark moment for the state, the Indian aviation, and more importantly, the Indian e-commerce industry. It will strengthen Amazon's transportation network and enable faster delivery to customers all through the country. In the long run, of course, it will also help uh, onboard more sellers from Telangana and rest of India on Amazon's global e-commerce platform. As I mentioned, we are thankful to Amazon for their continued support and uh, continued business to Telangana and to India. But we do hope that uh, you know, the direct sellers on Amazon continue to include more and more artisans, more and more artists, more and more handloom weavers, and wonderful you know, uh, uh, workers who are engaged in the rural ecosystem in Telangana. Currently, Amazon also works with the Department of Handlooms and Textiles, Government of Telangana, to uplift the lives of more than 4,500 weavers from 56 villages in Telangana. Through its Amazon Future Engineer program, They've also initiated a setup of 200 computer labs to provide access, foundational learning to computer science in tribal schools in Telangana. We're thankful to Amazon for that. AWS has launched its second region in the country in Hyderabad in December 2022 with a planned investment of $4.4 billion in India by 2030. AWS, of course, is also collaborating with the government for the digital transformation of various government departmental initiatives. I thank Amazon for its continued patronage, continued support, and for continued uh, guidance in growing uh, along with your business. And I hope with Amazon Air's gr robust growth plans, coupled with our state's dynamic multimodal infrastructure, it will soon set a, a set a wonderful example to the rest of the country as well. I affirm all support and continued support to all the initiatives of Amazon. And once again, thank you for having me here. Cheers. Jai Telangana.